So this right here is my greenhouse. Now, it's nothing too special and it's definitely very old and shabby. And it's got a panel missing right there, which I do need to replace, but that is it. Now, as you can see inside, definitely need some work doing to it. It's all a bit of a mess and there's a lot of things which have died in here. These used to be the ladies who used to live at my house, um, who we bought it off. Um, and she has grown tomato plants, obviously. They're very old and uh, dead now. But I planted a few little onion uh, sets and stuff. And I've got a, um, a strawberry plant growing there. So this year I really want to go ahead and strip this all entirely out. Get this main floor here gone and uh, make it two smaller. So it'll only be four bricks wide because that's all I need it. Um, and then I'm going to fill, I'm going to sort of make a brick wall along here, fill that all up with soil and have a really beautiful, fully functioning greenhouse. Uh, that is the plan and grow lots of vegetables in this tight little space here. But um, yeah, that's that's the greenhouse. So as you can see, I've got these stones in here, which I need to go ahead and get out. I'm not too sure why she put stones in there. Maybe there is a reason. But I'm going to go ahead and place them all in this bucket to salvage the stones. So as you can see, I've got a few stones out of there. Quite a few actually. This is a decent sized bucket as well. Now if you've never seen my channel before, you won't actually know what I look like. <laughs> but here I am. Uh, so, uh, we've got pretty much all the um, unwanted strawberry plants that used to be in there. As you can see, they're all gone. Um, these are my raspberry plants. Definitely don't want to take them out yet. Um, but I do want to, I will have to take them out while I rip all this up. Now, one of the first things that I want to kind of do is just rip up this black um, weed preventation stuff. Because I want to see if, like, what is underneath it. I'm not entirely sure what is underneath it, so I need to check. But, um, yeah, that could be fun. So I'm going to take off everything off of this side or that side and then go ahead and rip it up and let's see what it is. Let's do it. Right, so now that we've pretty much got everything off the top, let's go ahead and rip this up. Swing that all outside, it's full of creepy crawly. Disgusting. Right, anyway, now well, that's over and done with. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I thought this was going to look a bit worse than this, so um, this stuff looks as though it could have been lovely compost at one point, so that's great. Um, yeah, it's looking good to be fair, looking real good. I'm loving it and take off these boards just like this as easy as that take out these sticks
Okay, so I've got to try and I've got to try and get this shelving unit out. Um, so I need to take everything off of it, and then take it out, and then I can start ripping up this floor, meaning the bricks. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Oh no! Apple tree. Whew. In these three little pots here, I'm growing apple trees. So I'm going to plant them when they get a bit bigger. I might not actually take this out of here. I might just put it to the side because I need to really keep pretty much everything in here anyway. Um, like these sort of things I need to keep in here. So I might just take stuff off of it so then I can move it. So that's basically it. Thanks. So it turns out that I didn't even have to um, take it out, I'm just going to put it to the side and get all these bricks out of here, that's what I'm going to do next, get all the bricks out. I'll probably do that on a time lapse, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay so it's looking quite a bit better now. Um, as you can see they did put sand underneath here which obviously is a good thing um, helps the bricks from moving but yeah so I'm now going to have to flatten all this out level it all out and then re-put the bricks down and uh, build it up again how I want it um, obviously I'm only going to go probably four maybe even three wide um, but yeah give us a bit more growing room so I've never really done this sort of thing before, but I'm guessing if I just use something like a flat piece of wood here, um, just bringing this over like this, eventually a few, you know, after you do it a few times, I'm guessing you could get this sort of levelish enough to put some bricks down. Obviously, this is not a house, so it doesn't need to be as level as a house would be, but um, this is just my thoughts, to be honest, my thought process, you know. And if there's any low spots, just to sort of like fill them up. Um, but this is just my oh my brain telling me to do it. I'm not saying it's right, but it's looking pretty level. <laughs> you know, I'm quite proud of how it's coming out so far. Um, just filling up them sort of unlevel spots. And then trying to level them off with this. Going over them a few times, just trying to fill the gaps. If there is any. So that's coming out all right. All right, I'm going to carry on, and then um, until I get to the end, which I'm nearly there. <laughs> you can see me. Um, but yeah, I'm nearly there. I think just a bit more, a bit more to do, a bit more leveling. You know what I'm gonna cut well not cut but I'm gonna have it come around here so I can plant stuff all in here as well um, I can't see why I shouldn't do that I'm just gonna be using the room you know what I mean so I think that's definitely a good idea we'll go ahead and leap this soil over here um, but that means we don't have to level off this end either um, yeah Look at that it's pretty god dang level to me it's good enough for what I need so now I think it's time to go ahead and grab the bricks again out there and put them down here and we're going to make this three wide let's do it so 
So what I'm going to go ahead and do is have this like this. Um, I'm going to have one there, one there. Again, I'm going to do a time lapse. Let's do it. So it's now starting to get dark outside, so I'm not going to be recording much longer. It looks okay on the camera, but trust me, it's getting dark. So this is the um, bricks that I laid down. I've now created, I'm not going to show you this, I'm just being careful not to stand on the bricks. So I've now created some sort of like spiky sticks. I just created a little spike on the end and they're just sticks. Um, just to go into the ground here and what I'm going to do is I've got this CLS outdoor grade plywood which I just had laying around and that's going to almost be butted up like that and obviously that's then going to give um, the soil something to butt up against when I put the soil in here uh, and that way I can raise it up a little bit obviously I can't raise it up any higher than this lip here but it's got quite a bit of uh, way to go up still uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Um, I'll probably do some of this on camera, but a lot of it off camera, because like I said, it is now getting dark. Alright, now I've got to do a few more. This looks good, it feels good. Especially when I get the soil in there, it will feel sturdy. Um, but yeah, that's how they're all going to be all the way around. It'll keep the bricks nice and tight. And it shouldn't really let anything move too much. So I've got the path done as you can see. Um, it's all good now. I've left that end bit open so I can grow more stuff. Um, but now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this big red metal shelf and thing out. Um, and then I'm going to start kind of digging up this soil, getting it all light and fluffy, removing that stuff in the corner there. And um, away we go. Uh, that's when I can then start getting more soil in and um, a bit of horse manure as well. So let's go ahead and get this red thing out first. Let's do that now. Time to dig the soil over. Let's see what sort of goodies lay underneath here. We've got some roots there, look. Obviously growing stuff in the past in there. Let's go ahead and get them out. So, now that I've dug this out, happy days. It's looking a lot better. All the soil has been aired and turned over. Now what we need to go ahead and do is sieve molehill soil, which is rich soil deep from under the ground. And we're going to use that to uh, put on top. But not only that, we're gonna go ahead and put some horse manure in there as well, which is just gonna add extra goodness to that soil. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do next. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Let's get on with it.
sieving all the rubbish out of the molehill soil and that way you don't get big stones in there and stuff let's go ahead and take this out i'm going to do this quite a few times in here so yeah That's how the sieved out soil is looking right now. It's looking lovely. Um, I don't know how well you can see me right now. Probably overexposed. There you go. Um, right. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be I'm going to re-sieve this with my four mil maggot rid uh, riddle. Sorry. And um, once I've gone ahead and used my four mil maggot riddle, can't say that properly. Um, I'm then going to go ahead and spread it all out and then put some horse manure in it and we should be pretty much good to go. Right, so we're going to dig this all over now and get all this nice fresh soil in with the old soil. And that's when we're going to get the poo in. Okay, so we've got these bags of manure here, uh, which have been in here for a few weeks now. Um, so they've got to be taken out. I'm going to probably use two to three bags of this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get these out now. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and do that with all the rest of the bags. Um, once I've done that, we need to level it out and then um, we should be good to put the uh, weed stuff over. Whew, this is getting hot in here, holy freak! As you can see, I need to get a rake now. This is all uneven, the soil. So we're gonna go get a rake. I'm gonna take you with me to go get a rake. That'll do, won't it? That little rake behind here. Look at that, perfect. We'll have, we'll have that one. You beauty. I've got a rake. Here we come. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and rake this bad boy out. Let's do it. Well, beautiful would you look at that it's definitely a lot more level now as you can see 
Beautiful. Right, now what we've got to go ahead and do, I think, is put the matting over it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go ahead and put this matting down. Now, what this is, is basically just a weed protector. So basically it stops weed from coming up out of the ground into the greenhouse now obviously we only want our plants that we plant in there or vegetables should i say that we plant in there so this is what we're going to go ahead and do to prevent the weeds from popping up next to them and taking their nutrients and goodness um so that's what we're now going to do now let's get on with it let's do it to it i'm not really too sure how i'm going to do this yet i haven't really sort of figured it out or anything but I think this is quite large. There it is. Right, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move you guys for a moment just while I quickly do this. Right. Now, if I take this, put this in this corner, and this is where we need. We need some stones. Obviously leaving quite a bit of excess on here. You can always remove material but you can't add material. Along here. I'm trying to use as much of the old materials what were already in here as I can. Uh, these were already in here, these big old cobblestone pieces. Cobblestone? I'm not playing Minecraft. Flint! Idiot. Right, don't worry, just call myself an idiot. What a difference, honestly. Just doing a bit of renovation on the greenhouse can make. And now this will enable me to plant all my plants in here, ready to grow some beautiful vegetables. I'm glad you guys have been with me on the journey on this one. I'm glad you've watched. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to go check out the video, which is going to be on the screen just in a second. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Here's a bit of bonus footage of me planting some spuds.